Looks like I get the pleasure of working with both new types. I'll try not to get in the way. <laughs> it isn't getting in the way. You should just stick to what old types do best. You are our support. <laughs> oh, well then. I guess I'll do my best to live up to your high, high expectations of me. <gasps> Whoa, okay. You really don't like me, huh? That's fine. I'll grow on you. No, it's... I I'm sorry. It's nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> I was just kidding. Just a joke. Hey, I want you to try something, Alyssa. It might help. When things get crazy or chaotic, I want you to look up in the sky and find a cloud that looks like an animal, okay? It'll help you relax. You know what? Try it right now. That's an order. Once you do, come find us. We'll be just over there. But why would I do that? It's pointless. Just look for a cloud, okay? Trust me. We're gonna go on ahead a little bit. So here's the deal. That kid's got some unique baggage. Still, it's hard to find someone who doesn't have tragedy in their history. Sign of the times. I wanted to ask you since you're a new type. Will you keep an eye out for her? Good, thanks. Come on then. Yeah. 
Tsunami's making a <laughs> This is our chance! We can't let our... Spotlight's on me now. Let's give them one hell of a show. Aragami. When Oracle cells were first discovered, they maintained an amoeba-like form. Harmless, delicate, how little we knew. Shortly after that, we discovered the first origami in earthworm form. Within six months, the first large-scale creatures appeared. And before even a year had passed, an entire continent had fallen prey to their rapid domination. It was unprecedented. Even with their unique talents, taking the form of that which they consume, we never anticipated this. Now, in the strictest sense, Aragami do not evolve. That is beyond their current capacity. The absolute fact of the matter is, the Oracle cells themselves have not changed even one iota from their original gene sequence. Hold on, that's... that's just impossible. The cells change form, don't they? In a way, the origami you see, well, they're just like you are in this classroom, in this moment. To an origami, acquiring new forms, new abilities, and gifts is identical to the way that we as humans absorb knowledge. Yes, I know it sounds very far-fetched. Let me give you an example. They discover what bone structure would help to move faster in our environment. They analyze the means of flight and then develop them. They absorb tons of information every time an oracle cell devours anything else. In 20 years, 20 years, they've developed an advanced system of form and function and dominated the Earth. <laughs> A shame indeed that the Aragami are not as averse to study as it seems Kota is. They are dedicated and diligent students. Truly, it boggles the mind how advanced they've become. Latest reports suggest there is an origami out there capable of using a rudimentary missile system. If this is true, then they have absorbed man-made tools and developed a way to use such devices. I relish the chance to solve this ever-changing puzzle. How those cells must work to incorporate such complex features into the paradigm. Perhaps one day we might even see the next step, an origami that takes the form of a human. Wouldn't it be wondrous? I'm not sure that wondrous is the word we would use. <laughs>